Alright folks, uh, welcome to this video. We're going to be covering uh, today a Class Charlie uh, arrival. We're going to be arriving uh, shortly in uh, Santa Barbara, which is a Class Charlie airport. And the first thing you need to do uh, is to grab the ATAS for that airport. So we're going to go ahead and listen to the ATAS. That's 132.65 on COM2. I'm going to grab the ATAS right now. First, first thing. Information mic. Okay. All right, that's it. So first thing, you grab the ATIS. Obviously, uh, right now Santa Barbara is IFR with the information mic. The ceiling is 800 overcast. So we're going to use custom weather with pilot HETC. And when you use custom weather, clear skies, or whatever, uh, you just need to inform that you have information Zulu. All right. So uh, now, after doing so, we need to contact the airport. Uh, we need to contact the overlying controlling facility, which is approach about 20 miles out. And uh, we're about 20, 22 miles out right now, so almost almost there. And uh, how do you find the frequency? If you look at the sectional, you can see here Santa Barbara says, for example, Santa Barbara approach within 20 miles and 120.55. So we have 120.55 is uh, standby uh, COM1, as you can see. So we're going to uh, call them when about 20 miles out. So what you need to do is where you are, station you're calling, which is Santa Barbara approach, uh, where you are, your position, altitude. And uh, your intentions, full stop in Santa Barbara with information Zulu. At that point, uh, approach is going to give you a discrete squawk code, okay? Uh, and they're going to ask you to ident, possibly, or maybe they're going to just identify without having to ident. And from that, uh, you've established two-way communication with approach. Two-way communication means they call you back by your call sign, and you're not explicitly instructed to stay out of the Charlie airspace or whatever airspace the, uh, they're referring to. And that means if they call you by your call sign, you can enter the Charlie airspace. That's it. If you call approach, if they call you by your call sign, you can enter the Charlie airspace. Uh, if they say station calling standby, Estimation that's not your call sign. Estimation that means you cannot uh, enter the Charlie airspace. So that's that's the trick. So we're going to call approach right now, about 20 miles out, and we're almost there. I would say we're about 20 miles out right now. So we can call approach, 120.55, and we tell them uh, exactly who we are and where we are and our intention. Uh, if the frequency is, 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 call, is, is not busy, you, can, you don't have to do a cold call. If it's busy, you can see VFR request and uh, they will let you to go ahead, tell you to go ahead and you can tell them uh, what your request is because you have a long message all right so we can we can do a cold call right now santa barbara approach uh, twin diamond hotel alpha delta alpha juliet vfr request hotel alpha delta alpha juliet santa barbara approach go. yeah we're currently about 20 miles northwest of santa barbara 5500 uh, intention full stop in santa barbara with zulu Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, Squawk 3103. Squawk 3103, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. All right, so you give us a discrete squawk code, so we're going to do this right now. Code 3103. We didn't, uh, he didn't tell us to ident, so we don't have to ident. we well, we got to wait to be identified right now. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, right of contact, 16 miles west of Santa Barbara. And uh, as long as you have information, Mike. Uh, sorry, do you have Mike or Zulu there? Uh, we have information Zulu. Tell off the top of Julia. Tell off the top of Julia, Roger. Okay, that's it. So that means we can enter. He, once he gave us, he called us by our call sign the first time and gave us discrete squawk code, we can enter the Charlie airspace. And uh, we, uh, he established radar contact, so we get to go. So we're going to start our descent now to pattern altitude, it's about 1,000 feet. Here we go. Alright, to get uh, tower frequency ready, the tower uh, frequency uh, is 109.7, we'll put this on standby on COM1, 119.7, and uh, 
and ground is 121.7 is already set on calm to active. Why right, 119.7 is good to go. <coughs> Alright folks, so the first step was uh, we grabbed the Aedas, and after grabbing the Aedas, we're about 20 miles out to contact approach. Uh, who we are, where we are, and our intention. What is information we have? We're supposed to be given a discrete squad code. Once we're given that discrete uh, squad code, uh, we get radar identified. It means we can enter the Charlier space. Okay, now we can start continue our descent. And you can start turning towards the airport. That's oh, beautiful. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia, contact Santa Barbara Tower, 119.7. 119.7, Julia, good day. Alright, so we're told now to contact Tower, they're going to give us the pattern entry instructions. So that's a standby, we make it active now, 119.7. You go we're about right now about uh, eight miles uh, west of the airfield, northwest. Santa Barbara Tower, uh, twin diamond off to Alpha Juliet, about eight miles northwest. Uh, the three thousand six hundred sending pattern altitude full stop of Zulu. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara Tower, wind two four zero one nine gust one nine. Are you able runway seven? Affirm. We have Zulu. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia, roger. Left base runway 7, runway 7, clear to land. Left base runway 7, runway 7, clear to land. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and cancel the autopilot right now. Okay, left base, right. so right. our pattern, we need to supposed to enter like this. We start turning final. And we got our clearance to land. So we're good to go. There it is. Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, safe parking. Uh, we'll be parking at Signature North. So Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia, Roger, taxi Bravo Charlie to the ramp, this frequency. Bravo Charlie to the ramp and stay on your frequency, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia, good day. That's it, okay, we forget it, the runway, so land the light off. Actually, okay, so you can see after, uh, after we landed, we exited, we're supposed to exit the runway, clear the double yellow lines and stop. Do not change frequency on your own to ground. You gotta wait. Either tower's gonna contact you. You need to contact tower with where you wanna park at, and they're gonna instruct you either to stay on their frequency or to Windsor contact clearance. ground, and uh, they're gonna give you tax instructions. Or well, they can tell you to monitor ground. They'll give you instructions to monitor ground. Monitor ground means change your frequency to ground, but do not contact ground. Just monitor or listen in case they need to contact you. And that's it. All right, folks. So with that, uh, we've arrived at a Class Charlie Airport. Again, just to recap, first thing you're gonna grab the Aedes, about uh, more than 20 miles out, about 25 miles, 30 miles out, and then you're gonna contact the overlying control facility, which is approach. You can find the frequency on uh, the sectional chart, for example, and you can see here, and it says here within 20 nautical miles, 120.55 from this uh, direction or that direction, etc. So you contact approach, and you need to establish two-way communication with approach to enter the Class Charlie, meaning they need to call you back by your call sign, and you're not explicitly instructed to stay out of the Charlie airspace. Um, okay, so in that case, we contacted Approach. We told them who we are, where we are, our intention, what is information we have. Intention was full stop at Santa Barbara. Or it could be to transition, for example, the class Charlie airspace, or to whatever intention we have. Um, uh, after that, uh, they were told we, we, we were given a, a squawk code because uh, you need a discrete squawk code to enter the Charlie airspace. We put the squawk code in the box. Uh, we did, we, they didn't ask us to ident. They could ask us to ident. We ident on the transponder so this, they can identify us, but we were identified without having to ident. Uh, with that, we can enter the Charlie airspace. So we just proceeded uh, closer to the Charlie airspace. We started descending. Uh, at some point, uh, approach is going to tell you to contact tower. If they don't tell you contact tower and you're approaching the pattern, then you need to nudge them to contact tower. All right, so after that tower, give us that pattern entry instructions. 
and uh, we entered the pattern uh, according to the instructions we were given. We got the clearance to land. We landed. When you land, you exit the runway in the most uh, uh, expedient way possible. Uh, um, safely obviously and once you exit the runway you need to clear those double yellow lines and stop you cannot change frequency on your own you need to stay with tower you need to contact tower if you don't contact you tell them where you are and tell them uh, where you intend to taxi they will uh, give you taxi instructions and tell you to either stay with them or to monitor ground monitoring ground meaning to change to ground frequency and not to contact them but just to listen in case they need to contact you or they can tell you to contact ground and you can get your taxi instructions from there right and then at that point uh, you do that and you taxi according to the instructions given and that is a class charlie arrival uh, simple as that if you're not and flight following flight following will be covered in a separate video from the ground or from the air and thank you for watching